Yeah, in this uh, we are going to talk about three type of uh, substitution methods. So uh, I'm going to call it the substitution method. Substitution. Substitution method. So uh, so we're going to discuss three type of uh, problems. So the first one is so we're going to say uh, so we study we study a uh, three type of three uh, types of uh, substitutions. Uh, so what are the f three types? The first one is what we normally call the uh, basic substitution or the direct substitution. Uh, so we can say basic or the direct substitution. Direct uh, substitution. So uh, so what kind of problems we can uh, try in this type? So for example, let's say you have problem uh, y prime equal uh, x minus y plus 1 to the uh, let's say fourth power a problem like that so if you see a problem like that uh, so what we can do is we can use a simple substitution like uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this part I'm going to take this part and I'm going to call it u so if you do that um, so we're going to say u equal uh, x minus y plus 1 uh, so that's just a basic substitution. Once you do that, what will happen? And then you can take the derivatives and substitute. What will happen? This problem simply becomes a separable uh, separation of variable problem. Okay, so it's simply going to be a separation of variable. So you're going to transform the problem from separ uh, from a difficult problem to a separation of variable problems that's the first type so and then what's the second type we can discuss uh, so this is what we call the homogeneous differential equation uh, so homogeneous homogeneous uh, differential equation so there are differential equation like a kind of interesting type uh, like for example let's say uh, y prime equal uh, 3 x squared minus x y over uh, x squared so if you look at a problem like that so you see something you are going to see that the, uh, the deri uh, denominator and the numerator has the exact same degree and each of these terms have exact same degree for example in the numerator 3x squared degree 2 xy is a mixed degree 2 and in the numerator you can see the x squared is also degree 2 so you see that the numerator and the denominator has multiple terms but they have exact same degree so if this is the case uh, we can transform this problem into two types so uh, we can do like kind of very interesting substitution for these kind of problems so all of these problems we're going to solve using what we call the um, y equal vx substitution y, e y equal vx so that's the substitution we can use so any problem you can solve it like that so in other words uh, this is like v equal y over x so so i mean it's the same thing and this substitution going to bring this problem to two different types so once you use the substitution this problem end up in either as a uh, uh, a, se a separable type so it's going to be the separable or this going to be uh, in the uh, integrating factors okay first order linear so integrating factors so it depending on the problem you might end up with either separation separable method or you might end up with the integrating factors so it can be one of them and then the third type we're going to discuss is what we call the Bernoulli equation so uh, so we're going to study the Bernoulli equation Bernoulli so Bernoulli's equation as uh, this is the same Bernoulli uh, that you learn in physics uh, the Bernoulli's equation uh, so so what kind of problem that we can try from this type so we can uh, do problems like this y prime 
uh, let's say plus 3y equal y3 uh, sin x. So, the difference that we uh, see here is this term. You see that? So, there was no term like we, we, we studied something similar to this before uh, what we call the first order linear equations using the integrating factor method. But you can see here you are going to see some y terms some nonlinear terms uh, nonlinear y terms uh, like y3 like square root y terms like that. So, if this is the case this is what we call the Bernoulli equation and uh, when you do the Bernoulli uh, so there is a special technique that we can use. So, uh, so normally uh, what we call I am going to write the substitution we are going to uh, substitute as v equal y 1 minus n. So, we can discuss more about this uh, so, so, those are the three type of problems that we are going to uh, study under the substitution method. So, we can study one by one in uh, three different lectures.